logs in SQL Server. Well, there are many ways to find this out, but the uh, easiest way that I will tell you is that you can use uh, SP underscore lock uh, store procedure. Uh, that's a built-in store procedure to find out the locks, and that lock will tell you actually all types of locks, and you can dump the output of SP underscore lock in a table, and then you can sort out. The table level lock always shows TAB. That's the type of uh, table level lock. So I'm going to show you in a second that um, how you can find out. But you can also use uh, some uh, uh, system built-in uh, um, uh, views in order to uh, look at the locks. And uh, uh, I'll show you a couple of them. Uh, you can join the queries and find the exactly uh, just the table level lock and what table is being locked, all the good information. So I'm going to go in my server. I'm connected with Management Studio. I'm connected with the SQL Server instance where I want to find um, the table level lock. So I'm going to go ahead and click on New Query and click on S, uh, type SP underscore lock. Hit F5 or execute the query. And so you can see in the output, the column that you need to pay attention to is type. And if you see that this is a, a database, uh, the lock type is database. This is up here is TAB and that is table level lock. So this is how you can find a table table level lock. Uh, the other um, other um, views that I was talking about is right here. You can use uh, sys, uh, system DM tran locks and uh, system partition when you join the output of these both and find the information that you're looking for. So this is you how this is how you identify the table level locks in SQL Server 2005 onward. So um, I just wanted to quickly show you uh, some of the options that you could use in order to uh, answer this question. I hope this helps.